Okay, this is um, printing from the address book. When I was getting ready for this movie, I wanted to um, change my icon here because we were dealing. Uh, I would be dealing with uh, my personal card on uh, on the computer, and you'll be dealing with yours as well. And I thought I wanted to change the change the um, icon here. I wanted to try to give you an accurate um, representation of what it's like to work on a computer. And a lot, it's not as certainly not linear. While uh, I'm trying to make it as linear as I can, it certainly is not. To um, get that changed before I, before I started this movie up, I went to uh, System Preferences in the Apple menu, and then went to Accounts, and then I went, I hovered, this will be a list of the accounts set up, and I hovered over this picture here, you click on that, and you can pick one of the, one of the um, icons they had, um, they have loaded up, or you can click Edit Picture, and you can click Choose, and you can choose any, any, uh, any file that you have available on your on your um, computer, I used the user logo, which is a cropped um, version of the um, logo I have on my website. Or you could take a picture of yourself, um, and if, of course, because you have a Mac, you have a uh, iSight camera included in your MacBook or iMac, and uh, it will take a picture of you as you sit in front of the computer. I'm not going to do that because right now I'm really not uh, picture worthy. So we'll close that out, and that's changing the icon on your, um, changing the icon for your user. So now that I have that here, I'm going to um, show you about printing. Now, this is one view of the address book, and this is the other view. This is the you know the the entire list, all the lists and categories and groups, and that's how you toggle between them. So to go back to the full view here, say I wanted to. Send, make an envelope for for every for every contact. I'd simply highlight the um, the the uh, category, or I could highlight a single person within a category, or if I wanted to send them to a group of people, this is a, this is a, a global keyboard shortcut here to select everything from the American Bar Association Young Lawyers Division down to the Center for Seafarers' Rights. I would shift and click, and I get all of them. Now to get non-contiguous items, I wanted to do only this, and then I wanted to do this. I hold on the the command button, which is to the right and left of the keyboard, and I can select whatever I wanted to. And that's how you select um, non-contiguous items. So if I wanted to just print those, I could go to the, I'd go to the file menu, which is the familiar place for the print command, and select that. Normally, I would just press. I would cancel this out and I would do command P. That's the global keyboard shortcut for print. Now once I have this up, I can print a number of different things. Mailing labels, envelopes, lists, or pocket address book. I'll show you what what uh, what each mean. Now to because this is probably you're probably gonna use this for envelopes most often, I have to tell you that if you go to layout this is this is the part that might drive you crazy because what we're looking for is the size of envelope here and it doesn't come preloaded the what we're probably going to be using most often is, is the number 10 envelope so official 10 would be the size that you need and then you could go through these and um, and figure it out the label here is where you have an opportunity to customize what it looks like for example if I wanted to have an image on here a little logo go to my desktop I just made that little I'll use my user logo. And I'll set it to that. Okay. Okay. And it's set to user logo. If I want to change the font, and once you pick a font for your office, um, when you create your letterhead, we'll do that later. You may want to use the same one. And let's say it's Blackmore. I have no idea what that looks like. But we'll try that and you can change all sorts of different things about your fonts. You will find that this font selection um, tool is available in all, it's, it comes up often on a Mac and it gives you access to all of your fonts and all the sizes and you can do a great deal of formatting with just this fonts menu. So now that we have that set up, you just click print. Make sure your printer is selected and there you go. Now, if you come up, if if you when you arrive at this screen and you click print and it just looks like that, click this little this this uh, this button 
the up and down arrow. Now you'll see this a lot on the uh, on the Mac, and that gives you a full range of things. It's also in the save dialog box, so you can get you can get to all of it. Obviously, this is not enough to figure out what's going on, so click this and expand the whole thing. So I'm going to cancel out of this right for right now, and I'll show you what the what the outputs look like. Shrink this down. Oh, one important, very important thing is when you are printing, you will have um, envelopes. See this right here, print my address? I can print either my home or work address because I've entered those both in my card. This will be grayed out and unavailable to you unless you fill out your address book card with your address. To get to it, go to card, or you can just look through your list. Or the fast way is to go to card, go to my card. Now once I have my card, you click edit, that's, and then enter the information that you want to put in there. And you can put multiple addresses in there, and it'll, they'll show up as options later. So when I'm done with that, I click edit again to get out of the edit mode, and that is what will show up when I try to print things. Print my address. If you have pre-printed envelopes, you obviously won't need this, so you'll leave it unchecked but you can print work or home and it'll show up there. That might drive you crazy a little bit too if you don't realize what's going on because it'll be grayed out until you, until you fill out your own address card because that's where all this information is coming from. Now to show you what these things look like here is I print up 70 letters to, um, this is the preview application. You don't even need Acrobat Reader to uh, read PDFs on a Mac because Reader, the uh, preview application will take care of it for you. And this is what they look like. This here's my here's the logo and here's my address and this is the um, one of the previous fonts I had going. And here is a list, a mailing list. This say if you're working on a, oh there's the dashboard. If you're working on a uh, say a project with someone um, or you want to, you want to um, print a particular group for whatever reason, uh, you can certainly do that. It might be useful for. Um, political campaigns and so forth. And then here's the compact list. This is what this looks like. You can sort of maybe fold this thing up or do whatever with it. I haven't um, really played around with the options there, but they are available. And you can get all this stuff done directly from address book. And I hope this helps you uh, reduce the anxiety about um, printing envelopes and fooling around with, um, with uh, Word or WordPerfect to uh, get this done. And it's probably gonna be a lot easier for your secretary as well. You can simply just go here and say, you know, send a letter to so-and-so court and just click on it and print that envelope. Okay.